hello friends welcome back in this video we'll see how can we read the data from message dot property all right guys so here's the syntax to read the data from message dot properties file hash and then curly braces all right guys now this particular syntax in time leap is also known as time leap message expression all right now guys in this video we'll discuss two example in one example, we'll simply go and create a property and we'll read the value of that particular property from message.properties file, right? In the second example, we'll make use of a placeholder. It means that we are going to replace the value of placeholder from our code. All right, guys. Now, let me give you an example. Let's go and create a new project. Let's call it Spring Boot Starter Project. Let's call it Time Leap Messages Expression. Okay. And I'll keep the rest of things as it is. Click on next. Let's go and add our dependencies, time leap and spring web. Next and click on finish. All right, guys, our project is ready. Now let's go and uh, create a page first. So we are going to create our index.html page inside the templates folder. Okay. Index.html. Right. So this is our index page. Now, guys, we need to go and create messages dot properties file right so i'll go to file and new then click on file let's go and create messages dot properties okay now here we need to introduce the property let's call it index dot hello very simple property hello equals to hello okay let's go to our index space now guys i want to read this value right so I'll use time leaf th colon text equals to now guys what is the syntax to read the data from message properties hash and then curly braces okay and then the key name so key is index dot hello if I go here so this is the key and this is the value okay so index dot hello now guys what it says here it says uh, th colon text undefined attribute let's go and add xml namespace colon th equals to right guys we have to go and create a controller first let's go and create our index controller dot sorry controller index controller okay let's make it a controller let's go and create a function here public string let's call it very simple index space okay and on return i want this to so index is our page name okay let's go and create a get mapping here get mapping on root clear right so this is our controller here is we have got one property in our message dot properties file and here we are trying to read that particular value okay so i'll change it to text here just to differentiate okay let's go and start our application done let's go to the browser localhost colon 8080 so guys what do you see here hello so this particular value is coming from messages dot properties file all right so guys let's go and quickly add one more property here index dot some text level right here learning time leaf message expression read data from messages dot property simple control s right let's go to our index space and let's go and create an h2 here as to tag right so i'll write here some text and here th current text guys what the syntax hash and then curly braces and then key key is index dot sum dot text all right now if i run our application see the another value as well on the screen okay let me just go and restart our application run as a spring boot app okay application restarted okay guys this is cool right hello is very first property and this is the second property we just added into our message dot properties file all right guys now we need to talk about the placeholder right so we are going to talk about placeholder in messages dot properties file what i'm going to do is i'll just go and create an input box here input type equals to it could be text or email or whatever you want right if you want to change you can change it to email as well and name equals to email so basically i want to take 
email as input from the user and I'm going to create a button here okay button and then type equals to submit button let's call it submit okay now we need to put these two element inside our form tag okay this is how it is right now this is a form right so we need to add an action here so action equals to slash activation activation right so guys you might have seen this one right whenever you subscribe or something right this is how do you see right there's going to be an input box where you put your email id right and a button to subscribe let's call it SUBSC RIB subscribe cool right so here also subscribe simple right guys now let's go and clear this mapping so i'll go to index dot index controller right and let's go and create a function here public string subscribe me right and i will return to say activation page post mapping post mapping on post mapping on subscribe all right guys now guys if you see here we have one input element right so we need to receive the value we need to capture the value right this particular email thing so we need to go and create a bean let's go and create a package first bean and then let's go and create a bean his name is activation bean okay so this is my just a normal java class i'm going to have only one property here and that property is email okay let's go and create getter setters let's go and add constructor using fields and a default constructor as well all right guys so our class is ready now we'll go back to our function so at the rate model attribute right and attribute name is activation activation right so i'll simply use activation comma and i will use another model here i will give the reason why so guys first of all let's okay let me import this model first right so from this activation i am going to read the value of email dot get email okay guys now let's go and use this model to set this value model dot add attribute i want to add email here why because I want to send the user input to activation page. Okay, so let's go and create our activation page. HTML page. Let's call it activation.html. Okay, so this is my activation page. Now, guys, here I will create one H1. So I will simply write here activation message so what is the syntax th colon text equals to hash and then curly braces i need to put the key here so the key is in sorry now guys we need to add one more property here let's call it it's not index it's activation activation dot message equals to equals to activation link has been sent to and then this is a placeholder so this value i will send some value here i will pass the user user's email id here right so activation email has been sent to this email address okay so let's copy the key activation dot message let's go back to our activation dot html and now guys okay let's go and fix this particular thing first th colon text so we are going to add xml namespace here So if you see activation dot message, this property is here, but there is a placeholder, right? So we need to replace this value placeholder with something. So how can do that bracket dollar sign? And I want to read the value of email, right? So this value is coming from the model. If you remember here, this is the value that I want to receive. Okay. Now guys, let me just stop and restart our application. Yep. localhost colon 8080 right now here you can see one input text box and a button to subscribe okay so i will simply put an email id here chat dot ok java at the red gmail dot com and click on subscribe what do you see activation email has been sent to 
chat dot okjava at the rate gmail dot com. Right. So guys, this value, if you look at the messages dot properties file, we have this message only. Activation link has been sent to, and then there is a placeholder. Okay. Now this value has been replaced by the user input chat dot. Right. Now if I go back and if I use some other email ID. click on subscribe now what do you see activation email has been sent to okay computing at the rate gmail.com right so guys this is how you can read the data from the properties file and you can also make use of a placeholder as well now guys let me one more uh, example so activation dot message dot expire link sent to valid until so guys what i'm doing here now there are two placeholders link sent to this particular address is valid until this date right so there are two placeholder in our message now okay so let me just copy let's go back to our activation right here i will create an h2 right and by the message th colon text equals to hash curly braces and this guy right now guys we have got two placeholder right so for one we know for email i can simply use email right so this value will replace the first placeholder now we are going to put the date as well right we have one more placeholder right so model dot add attribute right and then let's call it expiry date okay expiry date and let's call here is I will simply use new date import okay right let me just copy and I'll go back to here and then dollar curly braces this is the second value right to replace the placeholder right so what do you see here we have link sent to then email ID is until and then date okay right and here we are passing two attributes right to our screen now guys let me just go and restart our application localhost colon 8080 i'll simply use click on subscribe now guys so this is the first one activation link has been sent to this particular email address right now here what do you see link sent to ok java right so this is the value of placeholder one and is valid until so this is the value of the second placeholder right guys so this way in case if you have multiple placeholder you can use this particular syntax all right so this is how you can create multiple placeholders in your message or properties file right and this is how you can replace the value of the placeholders right guys now guys quickly let me explain one more concept now guys so far we have seen that our application or string boot by default reads the messages right from message or properties file without any configuration we did not configure right we did not instruct spring boot to read the values from message or properties file by default it just reads the data from this particular file but now in case if you want to make use of if you want to give it some other name for example if i go and change it to my application dot properties file then how spring boot will spring boot will come to know that it has to go and read the data from this particular file right so what you have to do is you have to go to application or properties file spring dot message dot bash name equals to let's call it ok java underscore messages so basically this is my application name right underscore messages i am going to rename messages dot properties file okay and then click on okay right guys now what i want i want spring boot to read the data from this particular file okay java underscore messages okay so i'll just stop and i will restart our application started localhost column 8080 click on subscribe so now guys what do you see so everything is working as expected why 
because even if you rename your uh, file name right if you rename your messages dot properties file name you need to go to application of properties file and then you need to set this particular property spring dot messages dot base name right and then you can give it uh, any name to your properties file right so basically it should match with with your file name all right guys so uh, i believe you have got some idea how can you read the values from messages dot properties file in spring boot by using time leaf tags all right thank you for watching please do subscribe my channel